Curious as to how you in Poland are watching all of this play out, the Russia-US dynamic. Yes, of course, we're watching this uh, very carefully. My view is we have not yet been impacted. Of course, uh, the whole trade war and protectionism has impact on valuations of the emerging market uh, uh, companies, including the banks, but I don't think it's fully, uh, it's fully grounded. I think you have this trio of, say, stronger Fed, uh, Fed raising the rates, uh, but now with a weaker, weaker dollar, in my view, it should help the EM um, uh, corporates' valuations, including the banks. So, so far, we have not been affected as regards growth. Polish economy is growing at 5%. Uh, the Polish banking sector will grow double digit in the next three years. So we're very immune from what is happening uh, globally, but of, of course, it doesn't help. And what I'm seeing is there will be further waves of protectionism in, in Europe. You at Bank Pakao have been analysing a merger with another potential bank, which is mostly owned by the Polish government, Alior Bank. What's your final decision on that? What, what are your thoughts on a tie-up? The Polish market is, has been consolidating. and We will see a build-up of five to six big banking groups. You see moves from, say, Spanish banks and the French banks. Uh, on this particular situation, why we think it has some merits, we haven't taken a final view yet. Mm -hmm. Some merits. What about M&A in general, whether it be domestic or indeed international, Mikhail? What sort of deals are you looking for? Well, first of all, I think in general in Europe you need more uh, more M and A. I think if you had some mega mergers for, say, financial institutions in Europe, given what is happening on the political front with Brexit and tensions in Italy, I think mega mergers in the banking space would have brought more confidence to the sector. And Europe truly needs global European uh, banks. Now, on on the Polish front, we do see uh, quite a lot of um, of M and A activity. I think this is, has to do with where we are in the cycle. And the fact that the economy is growing at 5%, we see a lot of potential uh, situations in, in a range of, of sectors, including the banking space. So I'm, I'm uh, uh, quite positive and, and optimistic on m and in, in Central Eastern Europe. You sounded also positive on banks in the second quarter, on that you, you feel that there's going to be growth to come. Why? What's driven this turnaround in the sector? So we have in, in our home market, we have highest levels of optimism in the country's history. We have uh, strong investments. Uh, public investment is growing. Private investments could be picking up faster in my, in my view. At the same time, what we are seeing is, is banks, uh, CAGR in terms of profits is going to grow double, uh, double digits. So we're growing in cash loans. We're growing quite sig significantly in mortgages, had record quarters, and all also, we're growing in corporate banking. We are the largest corporate bank, and if you have your economy growing at 5-6%, it's a perfect environment to be a corporate banker. How much of a voice do you have if the government comes and asks you to do something? How concerned are you that you're going to have to do something that may not be right for your shareholders because the Polish government asks? We are a listed uh, bank. 70% of our shareholders are actually sitting here in New York and, and London. We are regulated uh, by, uh, by the Polish FSA. It's a very strong regulator. We have very good liquidity, very good uh, capital positions, and we are not doing anything in terms of reckless uh, Lexus lending. On the contrary, we have been growing our profits quite significantly since a couple of quarters. So we, 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 we resist any, uh, any temptation to do things that are not appropriate. What's driving your shares down, though? You're down something like 10% since December of 2016 when Unicredit said it was pulling out of uh, entities that had some Polish government control. Yet, as you say, Polish banks are rising in general. What's the disparity from? I think, first of all, uh, emerging market banking valuations and Polish banking valuations have been affected. I don't think it is justified because when you look at Polish banks trading at 12 uh, multiples of 12, I think they should be trading much higher than that, probably 16, because of growth because of the fact that we're paying 6-7% dividend yield and because of the fact that we are a very stable, uh, uh, st very stable institution. In our particular case, there's been uncertainty around M&A and I think this will get uh, resolved very soon.